through all the possible keys okay. for me practicing the parallel keys like C major to C minor or G major to G minor uh, it has always been more beneficial and uh, rather more exciting than the relative minor okay so let us do the chords first okay this is your what you call uh, major scale harmony uh, in the key of C major C major D minor E minor F major G major A minor okay the B diminished yeah, and a C major okay and then uh, the we call it triads okay the triads i was playing the triads means the notes that are in the chords that are in the chord of c that were in the chord of d okay so whenever we say improvisation so remember uh, this is important okay to know the notes of a chord that you will be improvising against so for c it is c E, G, 5 on the 3rd string, 5 on the 4th, the 2nd string, and 8 on the 2nd string, C, E, G, 2nd triad is D minor, so D on the 3rd string, F on the 2nd string, A on the 1st string, so 7, 6, 5, that's D minor triad, then we have an E minor triad, which is E, 5th fret, 2nd string, 8th fret, 2nd string, 4th finger, and B. That's your E minor triad. We have F major triad, F, A, C. Okay, 2nd finger on the 8th fret, 6th uh, fret, 2nd string, 5th again on the 1st string, and 8th on the 1st string. Same thing goes for G. 8, 7, 10. G, B, D. Then A minor, that's a major third, minor, A, C, E, A minor, then we have a B diminished, B, D, F, and finally we have a C octave, okay, and then repeat of the same thing. C minor, the first chord. Okay, the major was the progression was major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished, major. For minor, it is minor. Okay, the diminished, I'll be using half diminished. Major, minor, minor. Major, major, and again minor. So the chords will be C minor, D diminished, okay, E flat major. Go back to my lessons on diminished chords if you are finding this difficult. F minor, F major is this, we've already done. Just raise your fourth, uh, second finger so that this note is there. F minor. Then G minor. Then inside the second finger, we have A flat major, A flat major, then B flat major. Okay. Then C minor. The other way of playing, other way of playing A flat major, uh, we'll play A flat major, we can play B flat uh, major here, and then C minor here. 
so now the triads for that uh, C now this will be a major third so C E G C minor triad that is third string five eight eight C minor triad okay. that's a diminished triad D diminished D F A flat then the E flat G B that's a E major triad then we have this F minor triad C okay then we have this G minor triad just the same thing in the majors G major G minor and the fifth now A flat major and B flat major and then finally C minor and then back same thing C minor B flat major A flat major Sorry, so it's the same thing back. So, uh, mm, let us extend a bit as we've said. So, when we add another note uh, to our triad, we have this uh, chord name called seventh. Okay, so major sevenths, minor sevenths, dominant sevenths, and diminished sevenths. Okay. So let's look at uh, major seven to the root, major third, perfect fifth, and then another major third, which will be B in the key of C. The major third of G, which is G is the fifth of C, is B. So C major seventh. Now what for minor seventh? It's root. For major, se uh, major seventh was root, major third, perfect fifth, and major seventh. So minor seventh is root, minor third, root, minor third, perfect fifth, and then instead of major seventh we have a from G we have a, a minor third, G root, minor second, major second, minor third. Okay, so that's why we have a minor seventh, major seventh. dominant seventh which is root again major third perfect fifth will do the same as major seventh but no it will be a minus from G to B flat is a minus seventh so it will be a uh, dominant seventh major seventh one three five seven minus seventh one flat three five flat seven dominant seventh one three five flat seven your diminished which is minus seven flat five okay or a half diminished chord so your half diminished chord C the root and the minor third and the minor third okay so that is F Major sec, uh, minor second, major second, minor third, and another minor third, which is that gives you minus seven flat five, which is one flat three flat five flat seventh root minor third minor third minus seventh. Okay, so now if you understand this and write it down in a piece of paper and then look at your C major scale. And then add one note to the triad so you will come up with these chords listen to instead of c major now you will be playing c minor a c major seventh <laughs> we've already done this step and for d minor we'll be doing a d minor seventh in the open position it's bar on the first and second string and second finger on the third string, second bar, fourth string, open. So C major seventh, D minor seventh, 
E minus seven can be played like this. This is a useful chord. As in Pink Floyd's. Uh, Let's see over here. Okay, then uh, we have a F major seventh chord. We've learned on this how to play this. Now uh, go back to the to that lesson where we've done this. Uh, G major seventh I told you like this. But same thing, move two steps higher. G major seven, but sadly we don't need G major seven. Sorry, we need a G dominant seventh. So C major, D minor seventh, E minor seventh, F major, and then a G major with a raised pinky finger that will get you an F which is a dominant 7th then A minor 7th okay then B J minus 7th uh, sorry B minus 7 flat 5 back to C so C major 7th another way of playing C major 7th D minor 7th D minor minor chord with a raised E minor seventh, F major seventh, uh, G dominant seventh, uh, A minor minus B minus seven flat five. Okay. And finally we have C major chord. So what we do for C minor? What harmonies we get? Okay. So let me tell you again for the major. Uh, when you convert it into one more note, uh, it converts it. It converts into a major, into a seventh harmony. Okay, the first chord will be a major seventh. Second chord will be minor seventh. Third chord will be minor seventh. Fourth will be major seventh. Fifth will be a dominant seventh. Sixth will be a minor seventh. Seventh will be a, a minor seventh flat five chord, which is another terminus chord. Okay, so. In the key of C, C major 7, D minor 7, E minor 7, F major 7, G 7, A minor 7, B minor 7 flat 5 or B half diminished and then C major. Okay, let's look at C minor. So the C minor turns into a C minor 7. Okay. And the diminished triad turns into a minor 7 flat 5. The E flat major turns into a E flat major seventh. Okay. And we have a F minor, which turns into F minor seventh. So F major, F minor. Now to make it into a F minor seventh, just again raise this finger. So we just have two no two fingers being used. This is a little difficult bar wise. And again G minus 7. Okay. Is that right? Now we have an A flat major 7. Okay. Then we have B dominant 7. So how do you play a B dominant or dominant 7 from a this set? If I haven't told you this before, let's do this. So C major was this. Okay. C minor was this. Now raise this finger the second finger from the C minor the fourth finger instead of having it on the third string have it on the second string fifth bar so that way you will be pressing your B flat here which turns this into a C dominant seventh but right now what we need is a C dominant seventh D dominant seventh B flat dominant seventh So let me tell you, uh, the minor scale harmony, it's minor 7th, minor 7 flat 5, major 7th, minor 7, minor 7th, major 7th, dominant 7th, and in case I did not miss out anything, let me tell you again, in the key of C minor, it is C minor 7th, D half diminished, E flat major 7th, then we have F minor 7th, G minor 7th, A flat major 7th, then it's a B dominant 7th, then C minor 7th. Okay, I'll leave you with this.